Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. I have another from evening to morning video for y'all today. This was a really busy day. So we just got finished eating supper. I have a what's for dinner video coming up for y'all later this week. So I'm getting everything cleaned up. Titus and the kids actually helped me with a lot of the stuff. And then Jonah was wanting to shoot his little cricket gun that he got for Christmas. So Titus took him out to do some target practice. And I'm just finishing up cleaning the kitchen. Yeah, he does have big horns. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I lit this candle. I actually got this one from Tractor Supply. It's sage and walnut or something, but you can't really smell it. Anyway, it reminded me that I have a Bath and Body Works order coming, and I wanted to tell y'all about this real quick because there are some really good deals online. So you know they have their semi-annual sale and they still have some of that available on their website so if you go to their website on the main screen it's not there but if you click over on top offers it pulls up the semi-annual sale stuff the stuff that they still have available i got a candle i'm sh pretty sure i got the pecan something one for six dollars a three-week candle they have a lot of their body care stuff like lotion and all for three dollars but the best deal there's one of the candles the fall farmhouse is only six dollars and twelve cents three wick great deal the best deal though are their wallflowers so it says 750 but if you look right there up under it it's only a dollar 87 i think i ordered like five or six of those for only a dollar 87 each and then i'm just showing y'all some more here the pumpkin spice latte candle is only 637 I think this fall, oh, Harvest Gathering. Harvest Gathering, $6.37. I mean, even though Christmas is over, we still love these scents for winter. So like this Frosted Cranberry Double Pack of the Wallflowers is only $3.62. But you have to look at the up under there. The price said $14.50, but right up under it in little red writing, it was only three something anyway. Okay, back to the cleanup. Alright, so the kitchen is clean and we're about to make some homemade cinnamon rolls. I have an appointment super early in the morning and the kids have been wanting some homemade cinnamon rolls. So I decided I would go ahead and make them the night before. That way in the morning they have some fresh baked cinnamon rolls ready for breakfast. I sat out the butter and eggs while I was finishing up cleaning so they could be coming to room temperature. And Mr. Jonah is helping me here make these cinnamon rolls. He loves cinnamon rolls, so he was excited. So I'm gonna have this recipe down below for y'all. He put in one packet of yeast, a fourth of a cup of warm water, and I think it was a teaspoon of sugar. Like I said, I'll have the full recipe down below. We're heating up some milk, a little bit of sugar, and a little salt and butter. And we don't want this to come to a boil. We're pretty much just heating it up until the butter melts and it's nice and warm. So now in this big bowl, we're putting in some all-purpose flour, just two cups at first, but we add more later. And then we just start mixing everything together. So I have the dough hook attachments on the mixer. You can use regular beaters. Um, it's just gonna be, you know, when you mix it, you'll have to just get the dough out of the center of the beaters, no big deal. I used to do that all the time before I had a mixer that had dough hook attachments. So anyway, we're just getting this all mixed together. We added the milk mixture, we added the yeast mixture, and Manly was enjoying <laughs> His little head was going around and around watching Jonah mix that. So now I'm putting in two eggs and then we just start adding a little bit more flour, a half a cup at a time, until it was a nice dough ball, you know, and not sticking to the sides. Now I'm just taking it out. We're gonna knead it a little bit, get it into a nice ball shape. Jonah's gonna be spraying my bowl down there for me so that when we put it back into the bowl and it starts to rise, it doesn't stick. There's the little dough pat. Why do we always pat the dough? I have no idea. I do the same thing when we make dough. We just wanna pat it when it's done. I don't know. 
It's like the dough pat thing. You just do it. It's natural. Anyway, so we covered it with a clean, dry towel. It's going to rise for one hour. I'm just going to go ahead and clean all of that stuff up and then get Mr. Man ready for bed. Sissy already had his little book picked out there. That's one of her favorites. The Bernstein Bears go out to eat. Okay, so it's a little while later now. We started mixing the filling for the cinnamon rolls. So we're just using brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon here. I'm just pouring it in there and gonna get it all mixed together. And now it's time to roll out the dough. So I'm just putting down some flour and then we're just gonna start rolling it out. We want it to be about 15 by 12 or 15 by 13 sized rectangle. So now we're just gonna rub some softened butter all over the top, sprinkle it with the cinnamon and brown sugar mixture, and then we just start rolling it. From the longest side, we're just gonna start rolling it up. Homemade cinnamon rolls are really good. They just take so long to make because you have the double rise time, and of course you can do the kind with the instant yeast. I just didn't have any of that, so I'm doing the active dry yeast, and of course you have to have that rise time. But anyway, doing it the night before makes it you know a lot easier because in the morning boom you wake up to those homemade cinnamon rolls and it really doesn't you know the process of making them isn't that bad it's just having to wait on the rise time i really like the hot rise i think it's pillsbury uh, hot rise dough or something you can use it to make like pizza dough and stuff i used that one time to make cinnamon rolls and that was really easy and they are so so good i just didn't have any of that on hand today so we're doing the made from scratch kind <laughs> Okay, so we've got it all rolled up. Now we're just gonna slice it into 16 pieces. And of course you could use dental floss or whatever to cut these cinnamon rolls. I didn't have any that wasn't minty flavored. So, you know, of course you don't wanna do that because that's gonna put a little mint flavor going on throughout your cinnamon rolls. But if you have a really sharp knife, it works too and it doesn't squish your dough down. So this knife here, it's pretty sharp and it just easily slices through. It doesn't squish it or anything like that. So squish, smush whatever you want to say, they still look good. <laughs> So I did spray my casserole dish there that I'm making these in and then we're just going to slice them up and put them in there and cover them again and they're going to rise for about 30 minutes to another hour. I think I'll let mine rise for about 45 more minutes. Here you could actually just cover them with some plastic wrap and foil and stick them in the refrigerator if you wanted to wait and do the second rise in the morning and then you would just get up, take them out of the refrigerator while you're getting ready or whatever you're doing and you can let them do the second rise then for at least 45 minutes to an hour. You really want to let them come to room temperature before you put them in the oven but you could also bake them the night before which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and bake them and then we'll put the icing and all on them in the morning so I got everything cleaned up and went ahead and pulled the younger kids worksheets for school the next day And about 45 minutes later, the cinnamon rolls are ready. I had the oven preheated to 350, so I just stuck them in the oven. I think, I think mine cooked for about 22 minutes. You go 20 to 25 minutes, and then they were done.
All right, so here we are the next morning. I preheated the oven to 350 and just stuck the cinnamon rolls in there, covered with the foil steel for just about five to seven minutes just to warm them up. And here I'm just making the icing to go over the top. The kids don't like cream cheese icing for cinnamon rolls. They just like the regular kind, so that's what I make. But cream cheese is also really good too. Let us know which kind y'all like the best for cinnamon rolls, cream cheese or just the regular icing. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm just making some bacon and eggs to go with them and when the cinnamon rolls come out I let them cool for just a minute or two and then pour the icing over the top. 